Hola mis queridos, como estas mi amolicia? Hello my kittens, how are you? My name is Allison, and today we are playing Nancy Drew, Mobile Mysteries Ghost of Thornton Hall. I am actually pretty excited to be playing this game. It's actually a really good game as far as the actual gameplay of it, as far as the mechanics of it, for it being a mobile game. I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> her, in my opinion, I think her interactive could have chosen a better game just because the hauntings of in Ghost of Thornton Hall are just not the best uh, thing to use for a mobile game because it is the main reason it is it causes the game to be a mobile device issue. It causes the it causes the game to crash, it causes issues with your mobile device. Uh, I mean, not in the background, not in behind the scenes of it, but it just like when you're playing the game, if there's a haunting, it makes the screen flash uh, a black screen just a tiny bit. And uh, it, I don't know the length of the time, but soon after that, the game crashes. So if that happens, it is not your fault, it is the game's fault. <laughs> so I, uh, that is her interactive's fault for choosing Ghost, Ghost of Thorn Hall for a mobile game. But I mean, they did, besi besides that fault and a couple of other issues that makes the game a little bit glitchy and uh, as well as uh, freezing and, and other things like that, like they did a marvelous job with the game. I, I really like how they did it and, and how everything else is, works. <laughs> and if you are actually curious, her interactive bases all of their Nancy Drew games except for one, which is Sea of Darkness off the Nancy Drew book series. There, and the book series has been going on since 1930. I'm not going to go into detail on that. But <laughs> uh, the one the one game that is the Sea of Darkness they, is actually an original. Uh, there are a couple of things in that game that not very many people like. Uh, I'm one of them. <laughs> but anywho, the thing about the uh, Ghost of Thorn Hall is based on, is based on, Nancy Drew, a girl detective, uncivil acts, and I'm saying girl detective because, <laughs> uh, the original company, Gross and Dunlap, they actually liked to reset the series every so often to give it a uh, new binding cover art as well as, uh, updated, uh, punctuation and grammar and whatnot they also like to revise the stories even bring in new stories just to bring in more readers as well as keep in the fan base that they already have and once they passed the torch to Simon and Schuster Simon and Schuster decided to do the same thing and with that I don't know if Gross and Dunlap did it but with that Simon and Schuster decided to make sure that with each reset they give it a subtitle for the Nancy Drew series so that people who read the book do uh, are are certain that it is not canon are certain that is from a different uh, part of the Nancy Drew series for instance Nancy Drew girl detective there's actually a big difference for one the cover art is majorly different from what they normally do from the original series from the original copies from the from the beginning of the series I should say not original and two this particular binding you get to see Nancy's personal thoughts it is in first person narration I actually really like that in my opinion just because we actually get to see her thought process of how she unfolds the cases of how she digs up the clues and all of that jazz uh, and I actually have a couple of other books. I actually have a couple of books from that series, from that binding, uh, of myself. Unfortunately, I keep forgetting that I need to read this specific book. It's been such a long time since I've read Uncivil Acts. Fortunately, there is a way for you to get a copy of this book. I will ho hopefully be able to explain more on how you can get a copy of the book at the end of the video. And I will also talk more about the plot of this book at the end of the video if I can remember to <laughs> talk about it. Sometimes I just play the game too much longer than I should for me to talk at the outro. <laughs> Anywho, 
Uh, <laughs> Alright, so... I do want to mention there actually is a bit of a difference between the mobile mysteries and the PC Mac ver edition. With the mobile mysteries, you actually get a kind of a sneak peek of the bonus edition that the latest Nancy Drew games have. The bonus edition normally has like phone charms as well as mini games on Nancy's cell phone. And oftentimes, not always, there is a theme to a specific game so there would be like a little additions to certain things in that bonus edition when it comes to that with the mobile mysteries we only get two things from that bonus edition the phone charms and the mini games on Nancy's cell phone <laughs> that is basically our sneak peek into the bonus edition now the reason why I say sneak peek <laughs> is her interactive does their bonus edition a little bit differently from the Hidden Object Games universe. And I mean that seriously. <laughs> when I see when I say Hidden Object Games universe, when you look at the collector's edition, they are always available and you and you can buy them whenever you want and normally it's an affordable price if not the regular price of the game. Uh, and when I mean affordable, it's like around, you know, 10 bucks, if not $5. And if there, if, an, if it isn't, there's a sale going on that makes it much, much cheaper, which is super nice. That actually happens often on Steam, uh, if not Big Fish. <laughs> What's interesting, though, is on those collector's edition, you normally get, like, wallpapers, concept art, soundtrack, sometimes a bonus chapter, and uh, hidden achievements little bonus achievements and all that and just a whole bunch of other things that you can get on the on the collector's edition and like I said you can buy that collector's edition anytime you want with her interactive the only time you can buy the bonus edition is if you pre-order it once the game is publicly released you can no longer buy it yikes <laughs> I understand why her interactive does this because of like limited resources and stuff like that but not a lot of people like that. Fortunately, for those for the games that do have the bonus edition copy, you are act and for those who have the regular games of those bonus edition games, there is a way to access that. I won't be able to explain that here just because this is a mobile game, you're not going to be able to access it within the mobile game, unfortunately. But <laughs> I just wanted to point that out. I probably should just go ahead and get into the game just because there's a lot to catch up on in the game and a lot to explain within the game as well. So the last thing I do want to mention is if anything, anything in this video does not look familiar, please, please, please check the description box below. There's a previous video as well as the playlist. I recommend the playlist because it will have everything that I've done so far with Nancy Drew, Mobile Mysteries, Ghost of Lorden Hall. And oh my gosh, there's uh, one other thing I forgot to mention, I'm sorry, is that this mobile game, Ghost of Thornton Hall, requires iOS 7 or later, and you do get an hour's worth of free gameplay. After that, you do actually have to buy the game, which is $5.99, and it's actually pretty affordable. And I'm just saying all this because it is a game worth getting, despite all the glitches, the crashes, and all that stuff. It's worth it. <laughs> I mean... I mean, this is like video number 16, I think, and even though I have issues with it with almost every single video, I'm still enjoying the game. So let's go ahead and hit continue, because we're almost at n basically nine and a half minutes. All right, so let's actually go over the task list real quick. Getting organized, the task list tracks your objectives. Mm. To mark a task done, tap on the checkbox. Tapping question mark gives you a hint for that task. The journal keeps notes of observations relevant to the case. Yeah, so that question mark is the hint system. The hint system is actually something her interactive added with uh, with Ghost of Thornton Hall. This, this is the first game they added that hint system. After that, basically all of the games had the hint system, which I super really like. Not a lot of people like it. Can't check it. that off yet. But I do. Uh, let's not worry about the spark hint. It's pretty obvious because still have, have it. That can't, is the, can't like, check that off yet. Central thing for all Did that. Can't games. check that. Still, still ha can't. Ch haven't done that. Did that. Did that. Did that. Still have to awesome. do that. Uh, so we still have a lot to do. Haven't done that. 
So in the previous video, we actually watched the video, the reel on this, on this old player, and which I was hoping I wouldn't, which I thought putting in the film would just be putting in the film. I didn't think actually putting the film in would start playing it, because that it wasn't like that in the actual PC edition. So I think playing it again might actually show us something different. I can't quite remember. Let's check it out. Oh, it does! What? 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 Don't think I'm going to be able to fix that. Gosh dang it, Charlotte! Or should I say Harper? I think we found out it was Harper, right? Gosh dang it. Okay. So, we did also find this, first of its kind, across the bottom. Now, me thinks this might have to do something with that snake sketch, and most likely we'll find more about that in, come on, there we go, in the cemetery, but we need to go to the ruins. Uh, not, not that. We need the flower. That's in the ruins. But there was a, an image in the movie that we saw in the previous video that basically showed us that we needed to check the ruins, basically, her old house. Well, what? With the arrows at the top, that means I am able to spin around in the room that I am flash, or I don't have the uh, the specific thing on my recording software yet, but I will soon. This is basically a motion sickness notice for you all, because I am aware of what it can do. <laughs> uh, before we click that way. Um, I am going to face this way so that we don't trigger the thing that we need to do over there. I need to briefly mention something that just happened. That, that vision that we just saw, actually. Wait, um, I am going into a bit of a monologue. <laughs> so what just happened was a haunting, at least from the superstitious point of view. From a realistic point of view, it was a hallucination. And then Nancy lost conscious. If you, on a medical standpoint, that's dangerous. And if you're familiar with the game, if you, if you've been catching, if you've been paying attention to the story up until now, ha ha ha, there is a gas heating <laughs> oven type thing, a furnace, lit up in the cellar this entire time and that cellar is very very old <laughs> three words people carbon monoxide poisoning it is not safe and please please do not take carbon monoxide poisoning lightly if you if ever ever you experience any of the symptoms call the proper authorities do not wait a moment longer and let me actually tell you those symptoms mind you it's a long list and if any of these symptoms do occur but you're not uh, near a, a gas uh, producing oven or gas producing anything, don't think it's carbon monoxide, but still go to a medical professional to find out what's going on with your health. Because <laughs> seriously, these kind of symptoms should be looked over. Anyway, the symptoms for carbon monoxide poisoning are dull headache, weakness, dizziness, nausea and or vomiting, shortness of breath, confusion, blurred vision, loss of consciousness, which she just did, just pain, 
chest pain, sorry, fainting, hyperactivity, impaired judgment, shock, low blood pressure, as well as rapid and or abnormal heartbeats. Did, we did hear her heartbeat get rather fast in that moment, didn't we? I forgot, I, I forgot that part. Yeah, we did hear her heartbeat. We, ex we just experienced three things all at once in that moment. That basically signaled us carbon monoxide poisoning. She has it bad. But what's scary is that Harper has been near that furnace most of her life. She has it even worse. I am surprised that she is still alive. I am surprised that she is still alive. <laughs> My gosh. Oh, man. Okay, sorry. So, yeah. Nancy has carbon monoxide poisoning. It's pretty bad. The fact that no one else has these symptoms amazes me. The fact that Harper hasn't died yet amazes me. Oh, wait. If I can stack enough things together, maybe I could climb up to that wallpaper. Maybe. Oh, oh, things appeared in the top corner. Um, so she wants us to balance things. Gotcha. And I do see something at the top middle. That looks like a star. Could that be something else that we need to do in the cemetery? Oh, we can ro- It actually gives us rotating images. Awesome. Thank you so much, Her Interactive, for thinking that. That is awesome. Thank you, Her Interactive. I am actually... Can I not? Oh, I actually have to put it down. Ooh, that's clever. Wow. They actually... This is brilliant. How they thought this up. Oh, and that's gone. Okay. Alright, so... Um, I am actually going to turn this now. Ooh, I think I messed that up. But we'll see. Oh, oh, yep, I messed it up. <laughs> All right. Why won't it, they let me move it more? Okay. Alright. This is, this puzzle is definitely taking a while. That's not going to work. Alrighty then. Oh, I did not put that exactly in the middle. This balancing act. Eesh.
Nope. 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 Yeah. Saw that happening. You know, it's a lot easier to do it on PC. <laughs> Yo, that worked. That is... Uh, how did that even work? Nope. I don't understand. Just... What the heck? I mean, the mechanics are brilliant, just, it's so off. Oh, no, I messed that up. Yeah. Just trying to get that to work. It's like having to make sure... Yes, I get it. Oof. All right. Awesome, thank you. Alright, so after this puzzle, we actually do not need to do that puzzle ever again. Which is thank I am thankful for that. Let's get this star. This must be about that star sketch. And I thankfully, copy the image down. she does copy the image down. She also writes down the poem that's on there. Oh, 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 back up. Whoa, that was close. I want to look at that again. We can go back to this whenever we want, but I'm fairly certain that it's already in her notes. Nope, it's not. So I am gonna write this down. <laughs> um, okay. Two handles. Pull out the box to which the star belongs. From the middle it shines, rising above them all. So I'm not writing the entire thing down, I'm just writing the keywords, which is basically two handles, uh, middle, and rising from, rising above them all. So um, we're getting pretty close to the end of the video, but I at least want to get one more thing done, uh, but I'm Oh wait, no, I know what happens. We no, no, we we won't be be able to get the one thing done, the one thing that I want to get done. Did the game just freeze up on me? Yes, it did. All right, hang on. Oh. Alright. 
So let's open it. Get a little bit further in the game not using screen share. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. All right, there we go. Okay. So, uh, we are past the statue. We are about to enter the mausoleum. Hello, Grim Reaper at the door. Let's use the key. Um, hello. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Who are you? Oh, Harper. Hi. You. I had to come out here because of you. I still don't understand why you're hiding. You don't know who these people are. You think you know who to trust, but you don't. I trust them far more than you. Your funeral. You can tell them where I am, but I will always be one step ahead of you. Always. You're looking for something in here, aren't you? Keep your voice down. Do you want me to be found? Not really, but for the sake of the game, yes. At this point... Yes. You do? Well then, gotta fly! Um, what the butts? Alright, considering the time, I actually do gotta get going. Uh, but, I did say that I was gonna talk about the book. So, uh, but bam. <laughs> Let me go ahead and read the description real, bit, real quick, and then I will tell you how you can find the book, and then I gotta get going, y'all. So, a Civil War reenactment should be fun, right? Not in our town. It feels like war fever's taken over. The tension started to build when we all chose sides. Confederates and Union sympathizers never did mix. And if that wasn't enough to heat things up, someone started to secretly dig large holes in the battlefield. Pretty odd, and very suspicious. Is someone waging a little war of their own and trying to cheat? And if so, the bigger question is why? Yikes. Okay, so the way you can get a copy yourself is archive.org. Yes, I said it, archive.org. If not, openlibrary.org. Both lead to bit the same business, which is internet archives. I preach them <laughs> obsessively. <laughs> uh even though they do not sponsor me but it is a good business both both websites are basically a library one open library is a more uh, broader website a broader uh, database of books and it has more easy group books whereas open whereas archive.org has more met uh, I forgot what they're called mega datas or something like that as well as audiobooks um, cookbooks, just a whole bunch of different things, and it has multiple libraries from around the world, uh, not just here in the country, <laughs> as well as universities, uh, university libraries, not just state libraries, country libraries, and all that jazz. Oi, it's, it's insane. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it is free. All you gotta do is create an account, uh, create your own little password and all that jazz. It is free. And I think that is about it. Uh, you'll be able to find out how long you're able to borrow it, 
how many books you are able to borrow when you're there. Because I gotta get going, y'all. I am past the mark of where I usually like to end the video. <laughs> so, I am gonna bid you all adieu. I hope you all... I hope I helped you out at least a little bit in this video. If not, I'm not doing my job. And I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did. If so, smash that like button like a kid on wood. And if you're just now tuning into this channel like you're... <laughs> and you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that ugly red subscribe button. Make it a beautiful gray, as well as that bell icon right next to it. That'll notify you of all the videos that I do, which are on Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Central, and Sundays, 4.30 p.m. Central. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rusty Rabbit. Ha ha! <laughs> Saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube! Excuse me. Dang. Pasta with spaghetti, with marinara sauce and oof, Parmesan cheese. Yummy. Yummy.